Hi, I'm Joe Murray. I'm a gastroenterologist at the Mayo Clinic. And I'm talking today about a recent study published from Finland about refractory celiac disease. Celiac disease has become increasingly common, and in some populations, especially Scandinavian populations, it may affect more than one in a hundred people. And Finland is unique, probably in that a greater proportion of patients with celiac disease are actually diagnosed. Most patients in, reported in Finland respond quite well to a gluten-free diet, and also reports from Finland show the highest rate of healing of the intestine. Refractory celiac disease is an especially severe complication of celiac disease in which patients continue or have relapsing symptomatic malabsorption and continue damage in the intestine. This study, which examined an area of um, Finland that incorporated 11 different hospital districts, um, counted all of the patients diagnosed with celiac disease in this group, about 12,000, and identified a very tiny number had actually developed refractory celiac disease, suggesting that less than one-third of one percent of people with celiac disease developed refractory celiac disease. Now within refractory celiac disease there are two groups. There are those with type 1, or we call that the immune type, or type 2, which is a clonal or more pre-malignant type. And in this Finnish population, only one-third of those with refractory celiac disease had the type 2 or more severe type of refractory celiac disease. This suggests that celiac disease only very rarely results in refractory celiac disease and suggests that perhaps we maybe have a tendency to overdiagnose refractory celiac disease in many populations. So whilst we may pay, spend a lot of time thinking or worrying about refractory celiac disease, it really is very rare. Who are the people who get it? it? Tends to be male, older patients at the time of that diagnosis, and interestingly patients who are seronegative at the time of initial diagnosis. Which also raises the issue of maybe those patients had something else, uh, some other condition that could mimic refractory celiac disease, such as drug-associated um, enteropathies, for example. But thankfully this tells us refractory celiac disease is very rare and while it is an important condition, um, it's not such a big worry in patients with celiac disease. Thank you.